We're gonna go to the bag now. We'll start with the basic foot position, keeping the weight on my back foot towards the ball. Not up on the toe though. From here, we'll go jab, cross. One, two, and then off the punch, I turn using an angle. Now I'm no longer standing straight in front of the bag anymore. I'm dimensional. Now I can move side to side. So keeping your hands up, keeping the basic foot position we started with, we're gonna go into leg kicks. Leg kick going to the thigh or to the person's crease on their shorts. You want, basically what you wanna do is you wanna separate the muscle of the quadricep with your shin bone. Muscle against bone, bone against muscle. What you're trying to do here is inflict the pain factor. So the easiest way to do it is stand next to your bag and notice exactly where your thigh would be. You wanna hit about the middle. Now with your shin bone, your base leg starting first. We'll start with back leg. Drive your knee forward and turn. So that now your foot is parallel and your leg is parallel with the floor. Your chin is down. Your right arm, since we're using your right leg, is extended out towards the bag. Left palm is open, covering my face. My left foot is turned open. Going back to the leg kick. When I started, my left leg, toes facing towards the target. As I let the kick go, I turn my hip and my foot. Leg kick. I'm trying to get my shin bone across someone's thigh. From the basic foot position, right leg kick. Pivot your foot, your left foot on the ball. Slightly bend your knee and try to focus on turning your hip down towards the floor like you were swinging an ax and it's going down. Leg kick. Leg kick using right leg. Remember the basic foot position, you have the majority of your weight on your back leg. As you kick, pivot your front foot. Pivoting, a key factor here because off any kick you have to pivot. Now it's a lot easier when you use the ball of your toe. That's the front, not the heel. The heel is the back. Use the ball of the front like you're putting out a cigarette. The most important thing next to the stance and the foot position is relaxing. You wanna feel relaxed in anything you do here because if you're not, you're tensing your muscles and you're feeling too stressed. You overexert your muscles. So relax. When you go to go right leg kick, remember you're trying to focus on cutting the bag in half or sticking, separating the muscle. Right leg kick. Now you can set it up with jab right leg kick. Jab. Make sure your feet stay flat on the floor. Right leg kick. Using the angles that we started with, jab, right leg kick, angle. Still in the basic foot position, my weight is on my back foot. My elbows are rested in, not out. In, my head is protected. So, from the basic foot position we started, here, jab, cross, Defense, blocking, leg kick and body kick. The wall, defense. And we've gone into right leg kick or your base leg, leg kick. Make sure though, when you kick, you get that hip to turn. That's the most important thing. Getting the hip movement. Shifting your hips. It's not how fast you can swivel your leg or how high you can kick your leg or how much you can stretch. It's how much you can throw your hip into the move. So from there we can go into left leg kicking or lead leg kicking. Your lead leg should be the leg that's in front. Since I'm right-handed, I'm using my left leg. 
From here, your lead leg is now like your jab, your left hand. It's in front, it's leading you into the fight. Just like this, we're gonna go inside thigh kick. Against your opponent, you're using your left leg. You're going to use your shin bone Again, to the inside of your opponent's thigh. From the basic foot position where we started from, put the pressure on the ball of your right toe. Now, you're gonna kinda raise up on your toe so you're using more now, more of your calf muscle to push because you want the pivot as you let the left leg go. So normally you would be almost a little flat on that back foot with the weight back there. Now, you're kinda raising up so you can pivot you're gonna need that pivot, keyword here, to turn that foot. Pivot and kick. Shh. Shh. Common mistake, people lean back or they let their hands go. If you do that, and the same time your opponent moves forward, you're in a bad position. Keep your elbows in, inside, leg kick, and then you can angle. Angle, just put the weight on the ball of your lead foot and turn your foot back. Turn your base leg back. Again, from the basic foot position, inside leg kick. Put your foot down, pivot. Remember, keep your elbows in, keep your head down. You're looking forward. On the back, it looks just like this. Inside leg kick. I put the pressure on the ball of my base leg and roll, pivot. Again, it's coming from my hip. So into a combination, I could go jab, cross, left leg, right leg. I can pivot and use an angle. Now I'm no longer standing in front of my opponent. I'm dimensional. Inside leg kick is an effective kick like the jab. Your leg is longer though than your arm. So you can shut off an opponent moving forward or break up his rhythm with your inside leg kick. From there we can go body kicks. From the basic foot position, 